Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. Today, on this very special feast of all saints, we celebrate and rejoice with all the saints in heaven who lived good and faithful lives on earth and are now enjoying the reward with God. Today, we also celebrate our own sainthood. For in baptism, God called us to be his children and made us all heirs of heaven. In the Eucharistic celebration, let us join our saints' family in prayer, asking God for the wisdom, courage, and strength we need to become saints ourselves. Today we gather with all the communion of saints, because as we gather around the Lord's altar here, wherever Jesus is present, all the saints are present. So all the saints are right here with us. Not only those who are in heaven, but the saints in training, who are all of you. We're all here together to give praise to our God, who has called us to holiness, He's called us to be saints. And what makes a person a saint is not that they're without sin, but they try to overcome their sins and live love as perfectly as they can. So all of us are sinners, just like the saints were sinners, but we have a God who is full of mercy and compassion. So we begin our Mass this morning by asking the Lord to forgive us for our sins as we prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you call us to holiness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Jesus, you call us to the fullness of love. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you call us to be saints. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. joined in prayer. Almighty ever-living God, by whose gift we venerate in one celebration the merits of all the saints, bestow on us, we pray, through the prayers of so many intercessors, an abundance of the reconciliation with you for which we earnestly long. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated now as we listen to God's word. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, saw before me a huge crowd, which no one could count, from every nation, race, people, and tongue. They stood before the throne and the Lamb, dressed in long white robes and holding palm branches in their hands. They cried out in a loud voice, Salvation is from our God, who is seated on the throne and from the Lamb. All the angels who are standing around the throne, the elders and the four living creatures, fell down before the throne to worship God. They said, Amen, praise and glory, wisdom, thanksgiving, honor, power, and might to our God forever and ever. Amen. Then one of the elders asked me, Who do you think these are, all dressed in white? And where have they come from? I said to him, Sir, you should know better than I. Then he told me, These are the ones who have survived the great period of trial. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. reading from the first letter of John. Beloved, see what love the Father has bestowed on us, that we may be called the children of God, yet so we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Beloved, we are God's children now. We, what we shall be has not been yet been revealed. 
We do, we do know that when it is revealed, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Everyone who has this hope, based on him, makes himself pure, as he is the pure. The word of the Lord. Thanks be Thank to God. God. from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up on the mountain, and after he had sat down, his disciples came to him. He began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you, when they insult you and persecute you and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to call all the saints up here. All of you who are dressed as saints, come on up here. We want to get, we want to get to know you a little bit. So let's form a line going this way, okay? So stand right here. Right here, Dom. Right here. Okay, we're form a line going that way. Everybody get in line. Okay, I want you to stand up, step up on this, okay? So I can, so everybody can see you. Well, just go all the way down the, down the aisle there, down the side. Well, we are so blessed to have so many saints here with us today. And we want to get to know them, their name, and a little bit about this, about this saint. So hopefully you'll all be able to have some little thing you can tell us about the saint that you are, you are today. And who are you? Um, John Bosco. You're John Bosco. Can you tell us something about John Bosco? Uh, he helps the homeless children. He helps the homeless children. He was very, very important to a lot of children. He, did a, he started a whole ministry to help children who were in the streets. 
who were homeless and were hungry. Isn't that right? Mm -hmm. Well, thank you, John Bosco. Thank you very much. And who are you? St. Blaise. St. Blaise. What did you tell us about you, St. Blaise? He blesses people's throats. That's right. And we do that every day, every year rather, on the 3rd of February, the Feast of St. Blaise. And we bless throats with what? What do we use to bless throats with? Candles. Candles. That's right. Okay. Thank you, St. Blaise. St. Peter's about to trip over his alb here. We have to walk very slowly. You are? I am St. Peter. What can you tell us about St. Peter? Jesus chose me when he said to me, You are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church. That's right. And who is the current successor to Peter? Who is the current pope? The pope is Pope Francis. That's right. That's right. He's the successor to St. Peter. Thank you, St. Peter. Slowly. <laughs> we, need to, we need to get a rope or something around him. <laughs> He's going to trip. And you are? St. Nicholas. What can you tell us about yourself, St. Nicholas? I was born in 20, on March 25 of 280, and I used my heritage to help poor people. Very good. You were a, birth, you were a Christmas baby, born on the birth of, uh, same day as Jesus, and you helped poor people. Yeah, with my heritage. Thank you very much. St. Nicholas. And you are? St. Augustine. St. Augustine, what can you tell us about yourself? I was born in November 13, 345. And my mom is called St. Saint, Saint Monica, and I have one brother and one sister. That's right. And you were a very important saint in the early parts of the church. Yes. Thank you. You are? St. Monica. Saint Mo was that just your son who just passed by us? Saint Mo Tell us about, you have some secrets about your son. No, never mind. Tell us about yourself, St. Monica. I was born in 331 in North Africa. I have three children. St. Augustine is my oldest, and my feast day is celebrated on August 27th. And you prayed for many years for the conversion of, of your son, Augustine. Isn't that right? Yes. And you are the patron saint of parents who pray for their children to have conversion experiences. Yes. Thank you. Thanks very much, St. Monica. And who is this bearded wonder? Um, St. Padre Pio. Padre Pio, tell us about yourself. Uh, I was born May 25th, 1887. Uh, since I was a little boy, I always wanted to be a priest. And when I celebrated my first Mass, I started feeling unusual pain on my hands and feet. And after Mass, they, they considered with the wounds that Jesus had in his hands and feet. You have the stigmata. Yes. Thank you. St. Padre Petrosina. Why don't you stand right up here? Now, who are you? I'm St. Domino, St. Domino Savio. Can you tell us something about St. Dominic Savio? He, he died at 14. Very young, but he loved Jesus a lot, didn't he? Yeah, he prayed a lot. A lot, and that, now he is a saint. He, he, also, he did that because he really wanted God. Very good. Thank you, St. Dominic Savio. And you are? St. Margaret Mary. St. Margaret Mary. Now, what can you tell us about St. Margaret Mary? I don't remember. You don't remember? Well, I can tell you something about St. Margaret Mary. Without St. Margaret Mary, Jesus appeared to St. Margaret Mary, and he said, St. Margaret, I want you to tell people about my sacred heart. So you know what we, if it wasn't for St. Margaret Mary, what would be the name of our school? It wouldn't be Sacred Heart, would it? No. This is St. Margaret Mary. Okay, thank you. Very nice. And you are? St. Christopher. St. Christopher. What, tell us about yourself. I was very strong. Very strong. What, what did you do? I helped people across the river. And didn't you help one very special person across the river? Yes. Who was that? Jesus. That's right. You got him across the river safely. Thank you, St. Christopher. And you are? St. Francis of Assisi. St. Francis of Assisi. Tell us about yourself. I was a very wealthy person, but I, I gave everything away so I could live a life more like Jesus. That's right. And as a matter of fact, St. Francis, we're building this new chapel right next to the church. You know what it's going to be called? 
St. Francis Chapel after you. How about that? Very cool, huh? He's speechless. Okay, thank you. And who are you? St. Rita. St. Rita. Tell us about St. Rita. Um, she, um, she loves Jesus and she prays to Jesus sometimes and he loves him and... That's exactly right. That's all you need to say. She loved Jesus and she prayed to Jesus all the time. Thank you. Okay. And who are you? I'm St. Martin. St. Martin. Tell us about St. Martin. He um, had a hospital for all the children and he studied medicine. That's right. He cared for a lot of sick people and helped them, particularly during the times of the plague in Europe, right? Yeah. Well, thank you very much, St. Martin. And you are? St. Michael. And tell us about St. Michael. He's the patron saint of police officers and firemen, and he's the leader of God's army and guardian of God's people, and you might pray to him for strength and to defeat the evil. That's exactly right. That's very good. Now, we had a previous St. Michael, who happened to be her brother, who once told us he was the guardian of the galaxy. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you very much, St. Michael. And you are? St. Teresa. St. Teresa. You're called the little flower, aren't you? Yeah. Tell us about yourself. I was born in 1873, and I, wa and I wanted to become um, a sister of God, so I entered at the age of 15. That's right. You had to get special permission from Pope Leo the 13th, right? Yes. Well, thank you, St. Therese. And who are you? St. Bern Bern Bernadette. St. Bernadette Subrios. Tell us about yourself. She was the oldest of six kids, and she was born in France. She had visions of Mary, and I'm um, close to a river. That's right. She, Mary appeared to her and told her to dig into the ground, and what came out of the ground? Water who could heal the sick. Healing waters, and it's still doing that today, isn't it? Well, thank you, St. Bernadette. And you are? St. Francis Cabrini. One of our American saints. Yes. Tell us about yourself. I was born July 15th, 1840, and I was a missionary in China. And um, what else? I came to the United States, and I became, and I became a saint. Yes, very good. St. Mother Cabrini. Okay, thank you. And you are? St. Patrick. St. Patrick. Pat. St. Patrick, tell us about yourself. I was born in Europe, and at, the, at a young age, I was taken into slavery in Ireland. I escaped back to Europe, and shortly after, I, came, I went back to Ireland to teach them about the uh, Holy Trinity using a shamrock. Very good. Thank you, St. Patrick. And you are? St. Juan Diego. Tell us about yourself. Um, I, I was born in 1474 in Mexico. And one night, um, Mary appeared to me and asked me to build a church, and her, Im and her image was transferred to my tilma. You showed great courage and perseverance when the bishop didn't want to listen to you, right? You came back. Thank you. Thank you, St. Juan Diego. And you are? Mary Magdalene. Tell us about yourself, Mary. I am one of Christ's disciples and the first to witness Christ's resurrection. I was with Jesus through his journey and became a saint in 1969. Right, you, were the, you were the first apostle, actually, to bring the good news of his resurrection to the others, weren't you? Yes. Thank you. Thank you, St. Mary Magdalene. And you are? St. Lucy. St. Lucy. Tell us about yourself. Um, I died as a martyr because I took a vow that I wasn't going to get married, and the um, person I was going to get married didn't like it. So he sent me to get tortured because I was Christian. That's right. And St. Lucy is patron saint of people with eye diseases. So you need to pray for me so I can stop wearing my glasses, okay? Thank you, St. Lucy. And you are? St. Rose of Lima. Turn around to people who see you. Tell us about yourself, St. Rose. So I devoted my life to Jesus, and I care for the sick. That's right. And, and, you, and you, uh, you died at a young age because you were doing that as well. Thank you. St. Rose of Lima. And you are? St. Catherine of Siena. Tell us about yourself. I was born 1347, Jesus, and Jesus gave me his sacred heart. 
<clears throat> and I prayed so hard that the wounds of Jesus appeared on my wrists. Right, you were one of the few that ever had the stigmata on your wrists. Thank you. St. Catherine of Siena. And you, this is one of our newest saints. You are? Mother Teresa of Calcutta. Tell us about yourself, Mother Teresa. I devoted my life to caring for the sick and the poor, and I funded the Sisters of Charity. Yes, you did. St. Mother of Teresa of Calcutta. Good. And you are? I'm St. Joan of Arc. Mm -hmm. Tell us about yourself. I was born January 6, 1412. I am the patron saint of France. And um, I heard voices from God telling me to lead a French army. I listened to them and helped the French defeat the English. And you died a martyr's death. Yes. Thank you. Joan of Arc. And you are? St. Elizabeth Seton. Another American saint. I was the first American saint, and I set up parish schools for children all over America. And I started the Daughters of Charity, and before that, I was actually married and had three children. Right, you had a very full life, mother and a, and a wife and, and founder of a movement. Thank you. Elizabeth Ann Seton. And you are? St. Joseph. St. Joseph. Tell us about yourself. I am a quiet, hardworking carpenter. I listened to my dream and became the foster father of J Jesus. And you took very good care of Jesus, didn't you? Yeah. Thank you, St. Joseph. And you are? The Virgin Mary. Tell us about yourself, Mary. I was, I'm the queen of all saints, and I'm the queen of the universe. She's the queen of all saints and the queen of the universe, and, and the patron saint of all priests, too. Thank you very much. And you are? St. Elizabeth of Hungary. St. Elizabeth of Hungary. Tell us about yourself. I was the daughter of King Andrew II of Hungary. I turned a nearby house into a hospital for the poor and sick, and I died at age 24. You used all of your wealth to help poor people and sick people, didn't you? Thank you. And you are? St. Maria Goretti. Could you tell us about St. Maria Goretti? When I was younger, a family moved next door and had a child named Alexander. When I was 11, Alexander had murdered me because of hatred in his heart. Ten years later, I appeared to them with a bouquet of white li lilies in my hand, and they burned to ash right before his eyes. Right, and Alejandro, he was there at your canonization in Rome, wasn't he? That's right. Well, thank you, St. Maria Goretti. And you are? I am St. Louis of France, uh -huh. and I was born on April 25th, 1214. I became king of France at the age of 12. I married Margaret of Provence, and I died during a crusade in Africa of a fever. Why do you always carry the crown of thorns with you? Because Jesus gave it to me. That's right, because Jesus gave that to you. Thank you very much, St. Louis. And you are? St. Benedict. Tell us about St. Benedict. I was born in year 480. Uh -huh. My dad sent me to Rome to study. Um, there was wickedness in the town. So I ran up a cave for three years. People wanted to li live like me. They followed me to the cave, I, and I built houses for them. We started the Monte Casino. That's right, and you're the father of monastic life in the church, aren't you? Yeah. Thank you very much, St. Benedict. And you are? St. Tom, I mean, St. Pope John Paul II. Tell us about yourself. I I was one of the best popes of all time, and he and I love soccer. Yes, and you love to ski too, don't you? Yeah, yeah. You were one of the longest reigning popes in our history, weren't you? Mm -hmm. And one of our newest saints. Thank you, Saint John Paul II. And you are Saint Junipero Serra. Tell us who about yourself. I was born seventeen thirteen. And I'm most known for being the founding father of nine missions. Mm -hmm. mm. You're very familiar with California, aren't you? Yes. Thank you, St. Junipero Serra. 
And you are? St. John the Baptist. Tell us about yourself, St. John. I was born six months before Jesus. My mother's name is Elizabeth, and she is cousins with the Virgin Mary. So me and Jesus were second cousins. I started baptizing when I was about 30 years old, and, uh, some, and uh, someone that I baptized was Jesus. And you lived out in the desert, and you, you ate locusts, grasshoppers. How do they taste? Bad. Yeah, bad. <laughs> and you are? I'm St. Saint, uh, Saint Maximilian Colby. Tell us about yourself. I had a vision of Virgin, Virgin Mary, who, and she offered me uh, two crowns. One of them was white, one of them is red. The white standing for a life of purity, and the red one standing for martyrdom. Mm -hmm. And I died in a concentration camp in Auschwitz. Auschwitz. Thank you. Very courageous saint, Saint Maximilian Kolbe. And you are. Saint Thomas More. Uh -huh. I was about martyred for disobeying King Henry VIII when he tried to divorce his wife because she wouldn't have a son. You're the patron saint of attorneys, aren't you? Yeah. You bet. Thank you, St. Thomas More. And you are? St. Paul. Tell us about yourself, St. Paul. I used to, my name used to be Saul, and I used to not believe in Jesus until I was riding my horse, and I was struck by lightning. And when I woke up, I started to believe in Jesus and decided to get baptized, and, change, and my name was changed to Paul. Excellent. You wrote many of the letters in the New Testament. Yes. Thank you. St. Paul. And finally, who are you? St. Clair. St. Clair. Tell us about St. Clair. I was, uh, I was born in Italy, and I was born to a very wealthy family. And when I was 18, I heard St. Francis of Assisi when I was 18 preaching to all the people. So I ran away from my family so I could go with St. Francis of Assisi. And he was your good friend, wasn't he? Yes. Your best buds, weren't you? Yes. Thank you. St. Clair. Let's give all of our children a round of applause. I want you to take a moment and I want you to think about a saint who has loved you the most. A saint who has loved you the most. Now, what's interesting about this saint, it may not be someone who's, who's been canonized by the church. It may not even be someone who is in heaven yet. Maybe the saint is someone who really loves you. Who in your life acts like a saint because they love you unconditionally. They love you all the time. Even when you do bad things, they, they love you or they care for you and they, they, they make sacrifices for you. Think about that. Who is a saint right now who you think that you know who loves you? Your parents. Your mom and dad? Do they love you? Are they saints? Good for you. Yeah. About you. My family. Your family. Your family loves you, and they're, 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 they're called to be saints too, huh? My brother. My brother and my mom and my Brother and your mom and your dad. You see, we have saints all around us, don't we? Now, here's an important question. Are you a saint to anybody? Can you be a saint to someone? Who are you a saint to? You're a saint to God because you love God? Okay, that's pretty cool. That's good. Who are you a saint to? Family. Your family, because you, you do loving things for your family? Do you make sacrifices for your family? Then you're a saint for your family, but you. It's, it's everyone's a saint, but it's, but I want to say, but the ones that are um, in the costume, those are the saints that get to wear the costume. Yeah, they're the ones that get to wear the costume, those saints. They're lucky, aren't they? They're lucky. So the point is this. Saints 
can be anybody. Not just those that the church declares a saint, not just those who have holy cards with their pictures on them. We're all called to be saints. And we become a saint by loving God with all our heart, all our soul, all our strength, and all our mind, and by loving our neighbor as ourself. So you can be a saint to somebody right here today. You can be a saint to someone at Sacred Heart School. You guys can be a saint to one of your classmates. You can be a saint to your teacher. You can be a saint to your brother or sister or your mom or dad. It all depends on can you love like Jesus loves and are you willing to make little sacrifices to show kindness to that person? If you can do that, then you can be a saint walking this earth right now. I had the privilege one, years ago to know three saints who were living and got to talk to them. One was John Paul II. He was a kind and, and, and loving man. And he was a living saint. And I got to meet him. And another one was Mother Teresa. Mother Teresa was loving and kind. And you just knew that she was a saint. And I got to meet with her and talk with her too. You see, saints are all around us. They may never be canonized, but they are saints in God's eyes. So how many of you would like to be a saint in God's eyes? We can all do it. So start today by just being more loving and kind to those around you, and you will be a saint today. So let's stand right now. We're going to offer our prayers to God so that we can have the grace to be saints. response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, for our saintly virtues of courage and humility, to be open to your call and follow in your way, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, for your saintly virtues of wisdom and compassion, to be more thoughtful to a, of others, uh, kind and caring, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, for saintly virtues of faith and discipline, to keep our hearts dedicated to you through prayer and holiness, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, for saintly virtues of charity and goodness, to act generously in serving our neighbors, especially those most in need, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all servicemen and women and their families, that they find comfort and protection in your grace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our own special petitions, we hold in the silence of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us now gather all of our prayers that we've asked Jesus to answer for us and ask for Mary's help in getting answers to our prayers and pray together, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Please be seated.
Pray, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May these offerings we bring in honor of all the saints be pleasing to you, O Lord, and grant that just as we believe the saints to be already assured of immortality, so we may experience their concern for our salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For today, by your gift, we celebrate the festival of your city, the heavenly Jerusalem, our mother, where the great array of our brothers and sisters already gives you eternal praise. Towards her we eagerly hasten, as pilgrims advancing by faith, rejoicing in the glory bestowed upon those exalted members of the Church, through whom you give us, in our frailty, both strength and good example. And so we glorify you with the multitude of saints and angels, and with one voice of praise we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. And giving you thanks, he broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving you thanks, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity 
together with Francis, our Pope, Robert, our Bishop, with all the clergy, the religious, those consecrated to your service, and all your faithful people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. And have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you. My peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord Jesus be with you always. Amen. Let us offer one another a sign of Christ's peace. Can you give us a song? Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. 
Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. As we adore you, O God, who alone are holy and wonderful in all your saints, we implore your grace so that, coming to perfect holiness in the fullness of your love, we may pass from this pilgrim table to the banquet of your heavenly homeland. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you to our wonderful choir this morning. Thank you. Thank you, Bryce and Bree. Thank you very much. Once again, we want to thank all of those who dressed up as the saints and who told us a little bit about the saint that they were representing. All of you who are dressed as saints, when you go out the main door, those who are dressed up as saints, I want you off to the, off to the side because we're going to take a picture with all of us at the, at the uh, outside of church. So parents, if you want to be, take pictures as well, you can just gather up on the sidewalk uh, to get ready for that. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.